Chapter 16 When David was a little past the top of the ascent, behold, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of donkeys saddled, and on them two hundred loaves of bread, and one hundred clusters of raisins, and one hundred summer fruits, and a bottle of wine. The king said to Ziba, What do you mean by these? Ziba said, The donkeys are for the king's household to ride on, and the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine, that such as are faint in the wilderness may drink. The king said, Where is your master's son? Ziba said to the king, Behold, he abides at Jerusalem, for he said, Today will the house of Israel restore to me the kingdom of my father. Then the king said to Ziba, Behold, all that pertains to Mephibosheth is yours. Ziba said, I do honor you. Let me find favor in your sight, my lord, O king. When king David came to Bahurim, behold, a man of the family of the house of Saul came out, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. He came out and cursed still as he came. He cast stones at David and at all the servants of King David, and all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. Thus said Shimei when he cursed, Be gone, be gone, you men of blood and base fellow. The Lord has returned on you all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord has delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom your son. And behold, you are taken in your own mischief, because you are a man of blood. Then Abishai, the son of Zeruah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Please let me go over and cut off his head. The king said, What do I have to do with you, you sons of Zeruah? Because he curses, and because the Lord has said to him, Curse David, who then shall say, Why have you done so? David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold, my son who came forth from my bowels seeks my life. How much more may this Benjamite now do it? Leave him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has invited him. It may be that the Lord will look on the wrong done to me, and that the Lord will reward me good for his cursing. So David and his men went by the way, and Shimei went along the hillside over against him and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him, and cast dust. The king and all the people who were with him came weary, and he refreshed himself there. Absalom and all the people, the men of Israel, came to Jerusalem, and Ahithophel with him. It happened, when Hushai the archite, David's friend, was come to Absalom, that Hushai said to Absalom, Long live the king! Long live the king! Absalom said to Hushai, Is this your kindness to your friend? Why didn't you go with your friend? Hushai said to Absalom, No, but to whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel have chosen, his will I be, and with him will I abide. Again whom shall I serve? Shouldn't I serve in the presence of his son, as I have served in your father's presence, so I will be in your presence? Then Absalom said to Ahithophel, Give your counsel what we shall do. Ahithophel said to Absalom, Go in to your father's concubines that he has left to keep the house, and all Israel will hear that you are abhorred of your father. Then will the hands of all who are with you be strong. So they spread Absalom a tent on the top of the house, and Absalom slept with his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. The counsel of Ahithophel which he gave in those days was as if a man inquired at the oracle of God. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel both with David and with Absalom.